Hello and welcome. My name is Alan Robert, and today is April 20th, 2022. Our English vocabulary selection today has to do with sovereign debt and default. This is a very relevant topic as soaring commodity prices and higher interest rates are putting the finances of many poor countries at risk. But before we begin with the lesson, I wanted to remind you that if you are listening to this lesson on an audio podcast, please know that you can also find this same lesson on video on my webpage, EnglishForEconomists.com. The benefit is that you can also see the highlighted words written down along with their definitions. And seeing words helps you learn. It's as simple as that. It helps you learn and it helps you remember. EnglishForEconomists.com. Okay, let's get started with the key vocabulary. Then you'll hear a short text for listening practice. Okay? The new vocabulary is this. The creditor. The entity that lends money. Debtor. The entity that borrows the money. Default. Failing to repay a loan. Sovereign debt. The amount of money that a country's government has borrowed. Multilateral institutions. These are formed by three or more nations to work on issues that are relevant to each of them. Examples are the World Bank and the European Investment Bank just to name a few. Floating interest rate, an interest rate that moves up and down with another benchmark rate. Unsustainable debt, debt not able to be maintained at the current rate or level. Restructure debt, to change the terms on loans to make them easier to pay back. Debt distress, unsustainable debt can lead to debt distress. That's when a country is unable to fulfill its financial obligations and the debt needs to be restructured. Capital flight. Capital flight occurs when money quickly leaves a country as a result of an event or as a consequence of a policy. Okay, listen closely. Sovereign debt and default. Surging food and energy prices are causing serious problems in highly indebted poor countries. On April 12th, Sri Lanka said it would suspend payments on the $35 billion its government owes foreign creditors. Sri Lanka may not be the only foreign debtor to default on their payments in these current conditions. High food and energy prices are leading to high inflation in other poor and middle income countries, leaving policymakers little room for fiscal policy and causing unrest in the streets. In these current conditions, it is the poorest countries that suffer the most. Food prices, which are up by nearly 20% this year, make up a greater share of consumer spending in poor and middle-income countries. And this makes inflation more likely to spiral out of control. According to the World Bank, nearly 60% of the world's poorest nations are currently in debt distress or at high risk of it. One worry is that almost a third of their total debt carries a floating rate of interest, and those interest rates are bound to rise due to monetary tightening. This situation is further complicated as policymakers in poor and middle-income countries need to worry about capital flight and falling exchange rates when the Federal Reserve raises interest rates over the next year. It's difficult to see a solution in the near term. Many multilateral organizations like the IMF only lend to countries with sustainable debts. Policymakers have a big job ahead. 
Okay, that's it for the text. Let's review the vocabulary one last time. Creditor, the entity that lends money. Debtor, the entity that borrows the money. Default, failing to repay a loan. Sovereign debt, the amount of money that a country's government has borrowed. Multilateral institutions. These are formed by three or more nations to work on issues that are relevant to each of them. Examples are the World Bank and the European Investment Bank, just to name a few. Floating interest rate, an interest rate that moves up and down with another benchmark rate. Unsustainable debt, debt not able to be maintained at the current rate or level. Restructure debt, to change the terms on loans to make them easier to pay back. Debt distress, unsustainable debt can lead to debt distress. That's when a country is unable to fulfill its financial obligations and the debt needs to be restructured. Capital flight. Capital flight occurs when money quickly leaves a country as a result of an event or as a consequence of a policy. Okay, friends, I hope this lesson was useful for you. If it was, share it with a friend and come back for the next lesson next week. Hey, reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you. You can always contact me and see the video lessons from past months on the webpage, EnglishForEconomists.com. That's all for now. Until next time, this is Alan Robert. Goodbye.